So I've basically been using Anki for a good one and a half to two years now. I used it all throughout my A levels and I'm currently using it now in medical school and it's definitely a really useful tool for students. However, it's quite a boring app and there's a lot of things that you can kind of um, expand Anki with through the use of add-on. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jackery and I'm a first year medical student studying at UCL. And in this video, I'm just gonna go through a few add-ons that I personally find very useful and that I feel make Anki a lot nicer to use and also in some cases, a more efficient now not all of these add-ons will directly be to increase your workflow some of them are simply for aesthetic purposes but i do think it's really important that your Anki is set up in a way that makes you want to use it more and whether that's through making it look more colorful or adding all these useful features it's all about what works best for you now timestamps will be in the description below so you can jump around and find exactly what you're looking for without wasting any time as well as just some links to all the individual Anki pages for each add-on that's mentioned in this video now the first add-on is the image occlusion add-on this add-on has to be one of the most useful on this entire list for me at least. The whole add-on basically lets you take a diagram or an image and cover up parts of the image that maybe you want to recall and that way Anki will give you cards based on that. Now it's extremely useful especially in subjects like biology where there's a lot of diagrams that are annotated that you just have to memorize. I find especially now for medical school a lot of diagrams were given I'm literally just copying them and using the image occlusion to cover up the annotation so I can learn it and this is something that I heavily used all throughout my A levels especially in biology. The next add-on is the image resizer add-on now what this add-on allows you to do is set a set height or width that you want all images you copy into Anki to be now if you've used Anki you know it can be really annoying when you're adding multiple images into a flashcard and they all come up as different sizes now it's not the end of the world but it can really make your cards look just that little bit less appealing the good thing about this add-on is once you activate it you don't have to worry about the image size any image you put on will be scaled to meet the dimensions that you put on and that way when you start to add multiple images into your cards they will all come up as the same height and that way it will look a lot nicer the next add-on is the web browser add-on now as the name suggests this essentially lets you search things on Google while still on Anki I found this is really useful when I'm going through a flashcard and I can't completely remember the content and it lets me just search it up on the spot rather than opening Safari or Chrome and leaving Anki to search it up it just makes the workflow a bit more efficient and lets you keep everything in one place and it also means that you're less inclined to get distracted when you open up Google and you know search things up. It's not one that I use too frequently but when I do use it I'm really grateful that it's there. The next add-on is the speed focus mode add-on and I have to say that this add-on is probably the most effective for me in ensuring that I stay focused on Anki and actually get through all my cards. Before I used this add-on I had a tendency of opening up Anki going through all my cards but then eventually reaching a point where I just have a card open and I've gotten distracted without even realizing and the cards just open in the background. Well, the good thing about this add-on is you can set a time limit where the card will automatically show the answer and even give you a warning when you're taking too long. Now, this is really useful in order to help you fall out of the habit of constantly procrastinating or just staring at the screen for no reason. When you find yourself doing that, you hear this distinct dinging noise that kind of snaps you back into reality and makes you realize that you're supposed to be doing your Anki card. It's definitely really useful and it kind of just forces you to think a bit quicker because you know that if you take too long, then Anki will automatically reveal the answer. Now, the next add-on I want to talk about is the review heat map add-on. This add-on is purely for aesthetic purposes, but it also really lets you game Anki which I think is really useful whenever you can gamify your revision it just makes it that little bit more fun and it will just encourage you to actually get it done now the way it works is it kind of shows you an overview of the whole year and how many days you're actually using Anki and once you start using Anki consistently you'll start to develop a streak and trust me when I say that as the streak gets bigger and bigger once you reach like 20 days or 30 days you really don't want to be breaking your streak and it really encourages you to stick to it. There have been lots of times where I've literally gone on Anki near midnight just to avoid breaking my streak and make sure that I'm doing all my reviews. And the final add-on I just want to mention is the pass rate add-on. 
Um, this is kind of like a progress bar that shows you how many of your cards you're getting right. This is a really useful indication to show you whether or not you're actually understanding the content. If the percentage is low, that means the last few cards that you've been doing in the past seven days have been generally not that great. And if it's high, then it means that you're understanding the content and you're on top of it and you're doing really well. It's just a good way to constantly show you how you're doing and it just gives me some accountability over whether or not I'm actually taking in the content. Obviously, if in one week I see that this number is very low, then it's typically a sign that I'm doing something wrong and I really need to um, look over what I'm doing and how I'm making my cards. And that's about it. So if you've made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. Obviously, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Once again, links to all these add-ons will be in the descriptions. Each of the links will also contain additional information about the add-on. So if there's anything I couldn't answer, then you'll most likely find it on those pages. If you haven't given Anki a try, I highly recommend it and the add-ons will just make the experience so much better. That's been all from me and goodbye.